So I want to go over um, calculations with the pH scale, in particular how to use the following. You know that the pH is equal to minus the log of the concentration of the H, which is the acid. You know that the pOH is actually the same equation, but instead of giving you the concentration of the hydrogen ion, it gives you the um, concentration of the hydroxide ion. You also should know that based on water, pHs can add up to 14. So the pH plus the pOH is equal to 14. So that's going to come in handy. And then last but not least, if you want to go backwards and use the inverse of these, times 10 to the negative pH will give you the hydrogen concentration and times 10 to the negative pOH will give you the hydroxide concentration. So you can go back and forth between them and so if you're given one you should be able to figure out uh, what the others are. So we're going to be using those equations. Alright, so let's start off with something uh, where you're given the hydrogen, the pH of something. Alright, so we're going to do one of the examples in the notes that you can get for the chapter that I'll be giving to you um, this week. And so let's say the pH is equal to 6.88. Alright, so we want to know what the pOH is. I'm going to start with that one first. So I'm going to take 14 and I'm going to subtract 6.88, excuse me, 88 from it. Let me erase that. I don't know why I started writing 2, 2. But 6.88 from that and I'm going to get um, 7.12. So if you add those two together, you would get 14. So that means the pOH is 7.12. All right. Now, um, based on this number, we know that this is slightly acidic, very slightly. <coughs> it's acidic. Okay. And so now we're going to try and figure out the acid concentration. So I'm going to do um, 10 to the negative 6.88. I'm going to use the inverse button in the calculator, and I'm going to figure out what the hydrogen concentration is. And uh, based on the fact that it's just slightly below um, 7, it's going to be really close to 1 times 10 to the negative 7th, but it's going to be a little bit higher than that. Alright, so I'm going to put that in the calculator. I'm just going to use the inverse button of the log and sure enough, I, pre I predict it's going to be a little bit larger than 1 times 10 to the negative 7th and it turns out to be uh, 1.32 times 10 to the negative 7. So that's a little bit larger. Now remember this is molarity and it's equal to the hydrogen concentration. So now I'm going to switch and I'm going to get the pOH. I'm going to use the pOH to get the concentration of the hydroxide. So I'm going to do 10 to the negative 7.12 and that's going to give me the concentration of the hydroxide. And I'm going to predict it's going to be smaller than the number of the acid because we've said this is an acidic solution. So if it's an acidic solution, acid is dominant base is the minor one, it's less. So I'm just going to plug in um, negative 7.12 and I'm going to hit inverse log and I get a smaller number even though it looks bigger. It's 7.59 times 10 to the negative 8 and that's molarity. So now I have the concentration of my base, my hydroxide, I've got my concentration of my acid, I have my pOH, and I have my pH. And I got that all from knowing the pH of that one thing. And also this is one of the examples in your book, so you can check and see if I did it right. It's on page, on the notes, and it's on page 317. All right, now I'm going to turn to the back of the book and I'm going to look at section, um, or the notes, and I'm going to look at section 14.3. Um, and I'm going to do number 13, which says, what is the pH of a solution that has a hydrogen concentration 
of 1 times 10 to the negative fifth. And then it also asks, what would the hydrogen concentration be if it was 5 times 10 to the negative fifth? So I'm going to um, look at those and see if I can figure it out. And actually, the first one's actually pretty simple because this is 1 times 10 to the fifth. So I'm going to say that the pH is 5. And I don't even need to put that in a calculator. And so I'm going to guess that this one's going to be around that, but slightly different. So this time I am going to put it in the calculator. And I'm going to do negative log, the concentration of 5 times 10 to the negative fifth. And um, so uh, I'm going to put that in my calculator, uh, negative 5. And I'm going to hit log. And don't forget to make it negative because you can't have um, a concentration that is um, negative. You can't have a negative concentration. So, All right, so when I plug that in, this number is slightly bigger, so I'm thinking the pH will be slightly lower. Because remember, the stronger the acid, the closer it is to zero. And that's going to give me a pH of 4.5. Uh, 3 is the pH. So that's uh, for the second solution. All right, and that's number 13. All right, let's do um, another one. And so if you look at the problems, which I'm doing at the back, and if you want to make any suggestions as we go along, that would be fine. It says um, calculate the pH, uh, calculate the pOH for the following solutions. All right, so I'm going to take it a step uh, further, and I'm just going to do 16A. And so they tell us in the problem that the hydroxide concentration okay, is equal to, uh, I'm actually going to do B. I'm going to change that. I'm going to do B. Is equal to uh, 3.4 times 10 to the negative 11th which is a pretty small number, so I'm going to guess this is a pretty acidic solution before I even start. But I'm going to plug in to minus the log of the concentration of OH, and I'm going to plug that in and get that. So let's plug that in. Uh, 3.4, use my EE button, make it negative 11, hit the log, and then don't forget to hit it away. And sure enough, um, when I plug that in, I get a pOH of 10.46. Now this is pOH, so that's high, so that means it's probably pretty acidic. Now I'm going to take 14, and I'm going to subtract 10.46 from it, and that's going to give me the pH. And when I do that, I get that the pH is equal to 3.46. Five, three. So now I've got the pH, the pOH, and I've got the hydroxide concentration. What I don't have is the hydrogen concentration. So again, I'm going to use the log. I'm going to use the pH, and I'm going to, sorry, plug that in to the, um, to the formula that you should know, and that's 10 to the negative pH is equal to the concentration of the hydrogen. So we're going to plug that in. And I'm going to hit inverse uh, log. And I want that in scientific notation. And sure enough, I get that the concentration is 2.94 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. Now this is where you can compare and see who is higher. All right, now this number is higher, so this is our big winner, which means that, let me change color here, okay, which means that this solution is very acidic, which would explain the pH being 3.55. So this is something like orange juice or something. So from this one number at the very beginning, which is base number, we had the concentration of the hydroxide, we were going to plug in and get all four values, and you need to know how to do that.